Hi everybody, this is Janet D, the PT, coming to you today to discuss a pulse oximeter. Alright, so a pulse oximeter can be picked up at any local store, and um, it's been more in the news uh, lately because of COVID-19, where even younger adults are having lower numbers because of um, the impact that the virus is having on your circulation system. Very interesting stuff, right? All right, so today we're going to talk about the pulse oximeter and exercise and what it all means. Okay, so a pulse oximeter typically goes on your finger. I have seen the ear versions. I've also seen apps on your phone where you're basically taking a picture of your thumb and it sends infrared through your finger in order to find out these lovely numbers, right? Okay, so the pulse oximeter numbers are, so my top number is my heart rate. So how fast my heart is beating while I'm talking to you. And then the bottom number is my how much oxygen is in my blood underneath the sensor within the machine, right? And so I'm at 99. I am a-okay. All right. So um, who can benefit from a pulse oximeter? on a regular basis, okay? This would be recommended more for my people with asthma, emphysema, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, which is a mouthful and it's called COPD. And it tends to happen in individuals who have smoked for quite amounts of their life, right? All right, so what are the healthy levels? Healthy levels are 97 to 99, but anything above 92 to 99 is normal. All right, so that's, that's not an issue. Okay, numbers between 86 and 92 actually tell healthcare professionals that you are experiencing moderate hypoxia. Numbers below 85 actually require medical intervention. So either you need to have oxygen temporarily to boost your numbers, but that would be something that a nurse or a doctor would be able to provide and definitely to be keeping track of, observing, and there has to be a game plan if your number is below 85, all right? And now uh, we're gonna be talking more about how a pulse oximeter can tell you about your fitness. All right, so Exercise is how much stamina and overall fitness, right? But what you want to try to find as you're exercising is you don't want to be out of breath, but you don't want to be just cruising around, okay? You need to test your limits in order to find what activity level you're currently at. And as you progress, you can notice that you can tolerate a lot more. And if you've been gaining those COVID-19 15 pounds, then it, it might take you a little bit longer or you might have a smaller bracket of exercise tolerance. Okay. So one of the best things you can do while you're exercising to improve your oxygen in your blood, right, is to actually exhale 
when you're doing a muscle contraction. All right, so even as I'm sitting here, okay, and I'm tightening up my abs, right? As I tighten my abs, I'm going to exhale. So then that way, one, you get a stronger muscle contraction, okay? But then my number, see, even with doing exercise, has actually stayed unchanged. That's a great sign. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so as you get moderate exercise, the number may actually go up. Your pulse, your um, blood oxygen level may actually go up with moderate exercise because what's happening is your breathing is able to adjust with the exercise. As you're getting into more vigorous exercise or training, your number may actually go down because your breathing is not able to keep up with the amount of energy that you have to expend with doing your exercise, right? Super exciting. Okay, now when you stop exercising, your number should return back to your normal level, okay? And the more fit you are, the faster your body is able to accommodate to getting back to your normal level, all right? Okay, so what are the pitfalls of a pulse oximeter? Okay, one is cold hands, right? And I'm totally guilty of this especially in the winter time of having cold hands. So my number may not be as accurate, okay? If you're sweaty, if, um, if you are sleepy or tired, that can actually impact your numbers. So I'm at 99, it means I actually had a good night's sleep last night, which that's a win, and that's why my number is so high, so yay. Other things that can actually impact your number is your skin color. Actually, the darker the pigmentation, your number may actually be higher than what it actually is. Really interesting, right? Okay, so you can pick up a pulse oximeter at any local store. They range in in price okay but as long as you can get the number that that works out great for you all right so if you really enjoyed this video go ahead and press like if you really are enjoying my videos go ahead and press like subscribe and tell your friends all right if there's anything that you would like me to discuss go ahead and drop it down in the comments below and you can see it in an upcoming video. All right, enjoy your day, bye.